Six days before his inauguration, President-elect Joe Biden revealed his ambitious vaccine and economic plans. Biden pushing to hit the ground running as soon as he becomes president, hoping to lead the country on what he calls a path to recovery. News Nation's national political correspondent Dean Reynolds joins us with more on his multi-pronged strategy. Dean. Marnie, in his just concluded speech to the nation, the president-elect outlined an economic stimulus package to address the effects of the pandemic. A proposal that carries a price tag of $1.9 trillion to be financed mostly through federal borrowing. We need to move quickly. We need to move fast. Our rescue plan starts aggressively in order to speed up our national COVID-19 response. With thousands of Americans dying every day from COVID-19, with a winter surge gripping the nation and with virus-related unemployment on the rise again, Mr. Biden sought to send a message that help is on the way. If we invest now boldly, smartly, and with unwavering focus on American workers and families, we will strengthen our economy, reduce inequity, and put our nation's long-term finances on the most sustainable course. And with Democrats soon to take over both chambers of Congress, the Biden American Rescue Plan stands a fair chance of being enacted, though aides say the new president is expected to seek Republican buy-in. The plan is 50 percent larger than the stimulus passed during the Great Recession and could spark a renewed congressional debate about red ink. According to a fact sheet from the president-elect's office, the plan would pay for an expansion of the nation's vaccination, testing, and contact tracing capacities. The president-elect has called for 100 million vaccinations nationwide by April. He's also calling for $1,400 in direct payments to individuals and small businesses added to the $600 outlay recently passed by the lame duck Congress. Mr. Biden wants to increase the size of tax credits for children to help low-income workers especially and add more money for schools to allow them to reopen safely. The plan also calls for expanded access to safe and reliable child care plus affordable health care, an increase in the federal minimum wage to $15 an hour and extended unemployment insurance. And Mr. Biden wants emergency funding to upgrade federal information technology of the kind that was recently hacked, allegedly by Russian intelligence, a national security issue, the Biden team said, that cannot wait. A second part of the package will be introduced in the coming weeks and will deal with infrastructure needs, clean energy projects, and job creation. Now, getting all of this passed will not be all that easy, and adding to the difficulty is the fact that the Senate apparently also will be engaged in trying his predecessor for high crimes and misdemeanors. Barney?